So this is a piece called Restoration of the Man with the Golden Helmet. First I'm going to go through and kind of show you my process of how I made this. So I was in a thrift store and I found this painting which I really liked. And I bought it and I brought it home. So the first step was to kind of figure out what I was working with. So one way to do that is you go to Google Image Search. Um, and with Google Image Search, if you have a JPEG of the image, you know, I just snapped a photo of it. Uh, you can actually just drag and drop the image into search. And it's like searching for an image. Instead of typing out the words, um, I just drop the image in and it searches. And my results weren't very good. Uh, and I realized, well, okay, maybe I need to refine this a little bit. So I brought it back in and then opened it up with uh, the picture viewer, which is a little bit more advanced, but it has, you know, a crop feature. So I um, applied a crop because I, I thought maybe perhaps the frame and the white wall and everything was getting in the way of the, um, the image search. So there we go, cropped it down, and now I'll just save that as a, uh, you know, a copy, or I think I named it Crop. Um, and then I bring it back into Google Image Search. And I can just, similarly, you know, I can just drag it right into that Google bar across the top. Look at it. Oh, it's sideways. There's something with that orientation. So I can do that in this normal picture viewer. Um, you know, reorient it, save it, drop it in. And as you can see, this time I got some better results. Man in a golden helmet. Uh, so it says by Rembrandt at first. So I'm able to, this is the stage of my artistic process where I do research on this art that I find uh, usually in thrift stores. Um, so I have a higher quality JPEG now. Um, I'm getting some information about what it is. And, and here in this case, there's several different photos. And then uh, key right here, this is in the public domain. Uh, since it's in the public domain, that means any art that I make using that or incorporating it or remixing it uh, I can create my own original work based off the public domain work. So also in my search I come across a news article. Uh, it's an old New York Times article from 1985. But it talks about how for many years this uh, painting, The Man with the Golden Helmet, was thought to be done by Rembrandt. However, more recently they think that it wasn't by Rembrandt, but perhaps one of his students. Um, which all of this background I find very fascinating. Here it says, see, that it was not done by Rembrandt. Um, so I like that mystery and that continuity um, as I'm working on my piece. I call it Restoration of Man with a Golden Helmet. And I like that I'm working with an artist unknown. So to create my digital work, and this is what I do to sketch out and kind of figure out what my painting is going to be, what my work will be, is I bring it into PowerPoint. Um, I did do a little Photoshop with this um, later on, but um, most of my art sketches I find is it's faster and more fun and kind of free-flowing to go with PowerPoint. Now as you can see I just bring in some images. Um, you know I can bring in sh basic shapes. Um, I can manipulate colors and it's all very intuitive and kind of fun and a very fast process and that I really like a lot. Um, and if you get used to um, working with shapes you can do all sorts of stuff. You know you can drop in the simple shapes uh, you know, take out the uh, color borders, you know, manipulate those, add thickness. Um, and what I like to do generally is I usually make several slides. I'll duplicate the slide and kind of figure out, do different, these are what I call like my sketches, where I come up with a design. If you're interested in this uh, type of artwork, you can also do this with uh, Google uh, Google Slides. You can do a similar artistic style, but there's a, there's other videos on the internet that'll show you how to you know kind of do this artistic style with a uh, PowerPoint. And so I use the basic shapes, but there's also a tool, a freeform tool, where you can draw your own shape. And you can see here, you know, I got into the idea of the uh, war paint on this kind of old warrior. So I'm using this kind of freeform tool, kind of like following around the shape of his cheekbone. 
you know, it's uh, very rough, but so you can get the idea of how quick it can be to just kind of add these shapes and these images and sketch around and manipulate, zoom in and zoom out. So this was the final piece, uh, the digital version. As you can see, I brought in the high quality uh, digital image that I got off Wikipedia um, and then went in and I did, um, you know, some refinement and stuff, but this was the final sketch I wanted. So I decided, okay, now it's time to uh, get physical with this and do pen to paper uh, or paint to paper. So with this particular piece, I laid down some painter's tape um, and then I, after some different experimentation here, I, I got a little bit of like gesso to paint down the edges. And this is so when I uh, kind of creates a seal. So when I pull up the tape, you know, there isn't as much bleeding over. Um, you know, adding some white paint uh, where I painted in all of these uh, areas that I taped off. I painted a coat of a coat or two of white first so that I could it would really pop when I um, added the color later on. This whole process between, you know, you know, I like to browse around thrift stores. I try and go, you know, once or twice a week and just, you know, I like to look for the various art pieces and um, from buying the piece, researching it, sketching it around on PowerPoint and then uh, spending, you know, a weekend or two making the physical version. Um, you know, it's, it takes about a month, um, you know, off and on, depending on what I'm working on. But I, I really like it. I really like the whole the whole process and also what I do with the digital version is I upload that to a site called Redbubble which I'll, I'll put a link at the end so I can sell digital prints of that and then uh, this uh, physical painting that I you know hand painted is actually going to go in an art show um, coming up and I'll probably have a future video that documents uh, some of that experience but I like this. He's kind of got that old warrior paint style. Anyway, thanks for watching. This kind of gives you a glimpse of how I made it. And uh, yeah, check out the Red Bubble.